Muy buenas, bienvenidos a Canal de Gran, bienvenidos a Seno Halls, Chapter 1. Vale. Interrogatorio, Nicolo. Bernadotti. Zarroad, Urban Room. Zarroa Bazar Road, Roba Road. Ah, pues ya veo lo que... Estamos cerca, ¿verdad? No, 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 no estamos cerca. Venga, no pasa nada. Vamos para allá. Ah, será. Si me meto por aquí, ah, no, por aquí no puedo callejear. ¿sí? No, por aquí no me puedo meter. Pero por esta callejuela sí. ¿no? Por aquí hay una callejuela. Esta es. Sí. Esta es que me lleva al otro lado de la calle. Pero bueno. Aquí hay una placeta. La quiero mirar por si acaso me da algo. Voy a entrar aquí a ver lo que es. These workers don't look like your average Cordona folk. They're refugees from the camp. Esto es. Vale, vamos a ver eh, cómo lo hacemos. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, we don't see much here.
you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Are you able to help me? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Oh, I am shipped from Cape Town. Call me when you find me. A wine route from colony to colonies. Porcelain friend for every child. Essential remedy against sea scourge on any ship. That's our way in, Sherry. Las oficinas, ¿cuáles son las oficinas? Estas. It seems they're not expecting guests. I won't wait for an invitation, John. modo de entrar Could you help me? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Is this familiar to you? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Hey, yo, this is private property. You lost something. 
I'm here to discuss business with Mr. Bernadotti. I tried the front door, but... Mr. Bernadotti isn't seeing anyone. You have three seconds to walk away or you'll never walk again. Capito? It's in Mr. Bernadotti's best interest to... One... Listen, the man Bernadotti sent to... Cho! Well, this has been miserable. Sherlock, think. We know what the fellows from the gang look like. You can easily blend in. Get out. Well, this has been miserable. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, we don't see much here. Could you help me? I'm not in the mood to talk to money bags. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Could you help me? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Vale, vamos a buscar una tienda de ropa. By welcome, welcome. Let's pick something that suits you.
Voy así. Un callejero. Criminal elegante. Ahora voy a elegante no más. A good choice. A good choice indeed. Va a ir así sin chaqueta. Hey, stop. Who are you? Haven't seen you before. Didn't see you either, mate. I'm John. Just shipped in from London. Cheap bastards had me sharing a bunk with two others. Oh, that sounds like Bernadotte. Why are you here? A uh, problem at the refugee camp. I need to report to Mr. Bernadotte. The sooner the better. I knew it was only a matter of time until those savages stirred up trouble. Go on, get inside. into the criminal underworld. The silver amp treasure, mate. Loads of pirate gold buried somewhere around, just waiting to be found. It's all right, there's no treasure. But maybe there is. I just need to crack the bloody riddle. Jerry, look. This seems familiar. An amazing piece of culture. I imagine many collectors and museums would be interested in having it. A century old at least. A Dogon statue from West Africa. Masks, traditional for the Chokwe people of Central Africa. VH Grindley Flow Blue Tableware. This is what lies behind the facade of Bernadotte Company Limited. Let's see what's hidden there.
Vogel's stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case? This marble fella, it's like he was made after my image. You see it? Hello, friend. Just there. This is it. This is where all the magic happens. This is it. This is where all the magic happens. I suppose it's Mr. Bernard Dotty with our fine governor. Eighteen seventy-five. It's taken a few years back. John, how many people in Cordona have a photograph with the governor, do you think? You definitely don't have one. Excuse me, Mr. Bernard Dotty is busy right now. Sir, you're obstructing the light. Could you step back? I don't know who you are, but someone will be punished for letting you in. But first, let's talk. Whenever you're ready, I'd hate to intrude. Niccolo Bernadotti, I presume? The name is Sherlock Holmes, and I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. Is that so? 
The man you sent to the refugee camp failed in his task. He impaled himself on his own blade. Clumsy and chaotic end. For a man who just broke onto my property, you are more businessman than brute. You have my attention, Mr. Holmes. Do not waste it. Mr. Bernadotti, do you know the name Boniface Mercurio? I do not. Mercurio was a local artist. Recently, a man broke into his apartment, ransacked the place, and killed him. The thief was looking for something. You are testing my patience, boy. In a moment, the connection will reveal itself. As I said, your man was found dead in the refugee camp. He was there to kidnap a woman, but the other refugees intervened to try and save her. The ensuing scuffle resulted in the man's accidental suicide. He sported the same tattoo as your men in this building. In fact, it also bears a resemblance to the one on your neck. Can you explain what business your man had with this woman? You have no idea what you are talking about. I can assure you this was no kidnapping. The refugees in the camp are on edge. What happened there is a tragic accident, one I am not responsible for. For what reason was your man there if not to abduct her? Why would I answer? You are yet to justify your presence in the slightest. I was hired, privately, to investigate the recent theft of a painting from an art gallery. My investigation led me to a man from your organization and thus to you, Mr. Bernadotti. That is quite a stretch. Why would I need to steal a painting when I could buy any one I wanted? Interestingly enough, I spotted the stolen painting in your storeroom. I buy and sell a lot of things, Mr. Holmes. Unfortunately, if this is true, it is not the first time I have been sold stolen merchandise. I presume you were hired by the owner of the gallery. Tell them to contact me and we'll sort out the situation. So. This painting is why you broke into my office. So many words, so little action. When you barged into my office, Mr. Holmes, I got the impression you wanted to talk business. Now I see you had come just to talk. Tell me exactly what you want, or get out. It was necessary groundwork for what comes next. I have enough evidence to conclude that the gallery thief, the artist's killer, and the dead man in the camp are all the same person. Your time is almost up, Mr. Holmes. Before you draw your gun, there is one final detail I am yet to mention. The young woman your man was tasked to collect from the refugee camp had been defiled at a perverse masquerade party. That violation was captured in a photograph by Boniface Mercurio and used as a reference for his painting. The photo shows the attacker's face. Finally. That's why you're here, Mr. Holmes. You have the photograph. It is what your man was after when he broke into Mercurio's apartment, and it is what you're after too, isn't it, Mr. Bernadotti? You have the photograph with you. How much do you want for it? I am not naive enough to carry it with me, and I am compelled to ask why you want it. Who is the man visible in the photograph? An associate? Not yet, Mr. Holmes. Though with this picture, that may change. The man in the photo is a British envoy on Cordona. What exactly do you want from him? My business dealings are often arduous in their bureaucracy. A man in his position, willing to look the other way, could ease my work significantly. In return, I will make sure no one looks his way either. A favor for a favor. Also known as blackmail, the modus operandi of any true professional. It was not originally my idea. Mercurio set things in motion, extorting the envoy for the most trivial of ends. Money. In response, the envoy hired my man to retrieve the painting and the photograph, eliminating Mercurio's leverage. I only learned the whole story after the artist was killed in his home. And rather than extricate yourself, instead you took over Mercurio's venture. It fell into my lap. As a businessman, I simply seized the opportunity. Now, how much do you want for the image? Uh, 
I saw refugees from the camp at your warehouse. They work for you. I have made certain arrangements with City Hall and the police. Thanks to me, refugees can work and be paid. It's a pathway to freedom. And how much do you save by capitalizing on their cheap labor? I have heard no complaints. They seem happy just to get out of that slum. Why did you send your man to remove the woman from the camp? Without a photograph, her testimony was the next best thing. Securing her was in everyone's interest. Victims and witnesses all too often disappear. I thought the girl was cipher with us. I did not anticipate what would happen at the camp. I could not help but appreciate the collection of smuggled artifacts in your storeroom. You have rather diversified your business. Oh, oh, high and mighty of you, Mr. Holmes. Not all smuggling is immoral. I pay generous rates to developing cultures and spread their culture to eager buyers. And furthermore, I supply many immigrants with a taste of home. A very convenient way of thinking. I have traveled wildly, Mr. Holmes. I've seen people in far-flung lands for whom my services are a lifeline. Without them, they would starve. The tax on cargo is often so absurd that it would be more profitable to simply sink your ship than dock it in the harbor. And trust me, I am speaking from experience. Why should I give you the photograph? Just name your price. What if my price were not money? You claim to have connections, Mr. Bernadotti. Perhaps you could improve conditions for the refugees. Give them a chance for a better life. <laughs> I do have connections, Mr. Holmes, but help the whole camp. You are asking too much. I could, however, make arrangements for one person. The woman who was violated will have her own home outside the camp, solely for her and her child. She will no longer be a refugee, but a princess. That I can guarantee. Is that really possible? It will be neither fast nor easy, but I can do it. She deserves it, don't you agree? And as for her abuser, he will serve me as much as he deserves. So in your plan, everybody will be given their due, especially you, Mr. Bernadotti. Seems like a fair deal, no? I doubt anyone could offer you better. Simply give me the photograph, and the world becomes a better place. I give you my word. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Such is the arrogance of British imperialism. I take your point.
Uf, ¿cómo está esto? No sé qué hacer. Open the front door for you. Please, sir, do not linger. Vale, puedo volver a hablar con él. Quiero... El dibujo del agresor. Quiero resolver esto. Me queda... Me queda esto. Vale. Voy a ir... Hay que... Voy a ir al periódico. Que no estuve el otro día. Tenemos tres sitios para ir, ¿vale? Que uno es el periódico, otro es la comisaría y otro es el ayuntamiento, ¿vale? Yo al periódico me suena que no estuve. Y el periódico tiene el signo de, de exclamación. Bueno, creo que no estuve o sí que estuve. O igual sí, ¿eh? Es que no, no, no. Pero no, no encontré nada... Perdí con dedo. ¡Au! ¡Au! Ahí se me ha ¡Au! Come back once you've dealt with Panza. Panza. Tiene que esperar.
al menos un año, ¿no? Pasó. El caso es que... El caso es que yo sé lo que haría. Hostia, para, para. Azar Road y Hermes abre. Azar y Hermes. Azar y Hermes, aquí no. ¿Qué será aquí? Sí. ¿Qué será aquí? 
Vale, vamos a ir aquí, ¿eh? ¿Dónde estoy? Tienen cuatro cabellos. Es un piquito, ¿eh? Es un piquito de dinero. Yo es que sabría lo que haría. investigar más pero cuidado Mr. Holmes you've returned have you uncovered anything new about the theft sabéis lo que pasa que este tampoco me cae bien del todo no me cae bien, eh. I've brought news, but not all of it will please you. Fill me in, Mr. Holmes. I won't shoot the messenger. I tracked down Boniface Mercurio. I presume he wasn't delighted about the situation. He was not having a good day on account of his murder, killed in his own flat by the same person that stole his painting. Oh, sweet Mercurio. Perishing in the pursuit of his art. How apt. I will miss his exceptional sense of humor. I located the thief, but found him rather cold. He was tight-lipped about the painting, too. Ha! Huh, he's dead. How very droll, Mr. Holmes. One presumes you were not responsible. It was an accident at the refugee camp. He impaled himself on his own knife. Life is nothing if not cruel and capricious. What about the stolen painting? Have you located it? I found the painting, but I could not retrieve it. Well then, where is it? In Bernadotti's office. Bernadotti? That shady businessman? Why would he steal it from me? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him yourself. Hmm. I take it you found something more then. I found the source of Mercurio's artistic inspiration. A photograph. What troubled me was that the sexual act captured was non-consensual. She was violated? Dear God, how despicable. Her abuser was in fact the British envoy. Mercurio took a picture of him committing the atrocity and then used it as artistic inspiration. I had no idea a mere break-in would eventually expose such barbarity. Mr. Vogel, I want you to make everything public, including the photograph. I'm sure you have a connection at the Cordona Chronicle. Ah, uh, Mr. Holmes, loyal to your own truth till the end. Yes, I'm acquainted with the staff of the Chronicle. The story is sensational and will surely draw attention to the gallery. But you must be aware that exposing the scandal will further hurt the victim. Does that not bother you? No matter what one does, the truth tends to come out, as well it should. I won't be the one to stand in its way. Though it's only your subjective truth being exposed, not that I'm judging. It's perfectly reasonable for everyone to have their own views. When you called me, you knew exactly what you would get. Oh, but I'm not like you, Mr. Holmes. I cannot be sure of anything. Regardless, I must thank you, for art's sake. Well, now that we've resolved all of our outstanding matters, I have a gift for you. I took the liberty of having it delivered to Stonewood Manor. I am told it belonged to your mother. And what exactly have you sent me? Frankly, I'm not sure how to answer that. I trust you'll know. Previously, you mentioned there may have been more to my mother's passing than consumption. It appears you were right. Oh, dear. I'd hoped to be wrong. 
She was unstable, mentally unwell. She required sustained specialized treatment, but her madness persisted. I knew that Violet had disappeared from the public eye, but had no idea of her suffering. I cannot imagine what you're feeling. I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. I am curious to see what you have procured. I think I'll leave the exhibition in its current state for a while. I'll call it the art of vandalism. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume. Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estero. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. He's on his way to Cordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir, nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance, then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here and remember. Discretion is of the essence. Do exercise some restraint, Mr. Holmes. Find the who's and we'll handle the why's. It's a bizarre object, and yet oddly familiar. La Serena. Did you just remember something? Yes. A room full of curiosities and artifacts. I think I can find it in the manor. Sherlock. So, you continue to pursue the imaginary. I had hoped you might have got all this out of your system by now. Mycroft. What are you doing here? Get out of my house. It's my house, actually. I've come to bring you back. I have no interest in returning. Get alone with you. I know you lied about Mother all these years, claiming she was merely ill, but she was unstable. She never had tuberculosis. She was not recuperating, but mentally deteriorating, and you never once thought to tell me. How dare you? I shall not indulge this petulant tantrum. You can just tire yourself out and then slink back to London with your tail between your legs. Just tell me everything. I'm an adult now. I... Show me the basic courtesy of an explanation. You know I will find out eventually. The goal was stability. 
and that's what you got. The right thing for everyone was to try and move on from her passing. The consequences of one's actions determines what is right or wrong. Yes, exactly. The ends justify the means. After leaving Cordona, Sherlock, you had a normal childhood. In London, I was able to support you, guide you, shape you into a fine and productive young man. You have so much potential, so much to offer society. But that's not the end. Now I've found the truth, and it has shattered everything I knew about her, about you, and about myself. I feel unstable because of you. Your actions were not justified. Lying never is. Oh, grow up, Sherlock. It was a white lie which has as much use in the realm of the interpersonal as the international. It is time you come to accept that some things are bigger than yourself. Oh, you are full of it. You like to pretend you care about the big picture, but it's just an ego trip. You like knowing more than others. You like greasing palms and rubbing shoulders with the rich and powerful. You like having eyes and ears everywhere. The fact it helps the nation is incidental, because all you care about is yourself. It's true. I have agents everywhere, including Cordona. If you weren't so damn stubborn, you'd realize that means I'm only here for you. Vale, pues eh... allí de los bares ya está hecho. Quiero hacer esta. Me quita el tatuaje. esto tío si yo le daba aquí luego the siren I'm telling you oh. Oh. excuse me just one question I've heard something but actually no never mind I know nothing I'm sorry anything about this do you know i'd rather bite a snake than talk to you time to check your who what and what sherry who are you asking about what and dressed as what yeah. hello Will. help me please 
please. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Is this familiar to you? Men like me don't mind to be bothered by strangers. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or you just Could you help me? <laughs> Are you expecting me to cooperate with you? Do you know anything about this? If you ask that again, I'll find where you live and break your windows. Everyone's looking at us, sir. Is this you familiar to you? You'd do better to hide yourself at home. I do not ask anybody such questions. Excuse me, just one question. I have no idea why you think I could help you. Oh, that's you. Do you know anything about this? You have a job, so why don't you go back to it instead of bothering me? Oh, I am bored. <sighs> Call me when you find the answer. Excuse me, just one question. I'm afraid I can't answer that. I know nothing about it. Is this familiar to you? You have a job, so why don't you go back to it instead of bothering me? Oh, I am poor. Are you able to help me? Find the answer? That's a good question, friend. But like all good questions, I don't have an answer. Do you know anything about this? That's a good question, friend. But like all good questions, I don't have an answer. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Is this familiar to you? Oh, if only I could help you with this. Are you able to help me? Oh, if only I could help you with this. Oh, I am bored. Can you satisfy my curiosity? The answer. I'm too tired for your questions. Oh. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Go back to work. I'm not answering your questions. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. At the police here. Talk at the bloater. Not at all, officer. Perhaps I can help. Help with what exactly? Solving an accident? fellow drank himself to death, literally. Case closed. It's not the first case, neither. A few days ago, another drunken sailor drowned himself in a fountain. What can you tell me about the other sailor? Nothing to tell. Some rich chap complained about a dead body in a fountain. It wasn't me who inspected the scene, though. Should have gone easy on the bottle, if you ask me. They get to shore, they start drinking like fish. Too bad booze doesn't make them grow gills, eh? I would like to take a look around. Go ahead. Just don't disturb the evidence, all right? I still have to write my report. There's talk on the streets that a siren could be responsible for the drownings. A siren? You mean the bird woman kind? Why, of course, we've got sirens aplenty round here. Harpies, too. Oh, please. Oh. Oh. His whole body is tense stiffened by rigor mortis. A kiss on the forehead is quite intimate, but the vulgar lip rouge suggests a different type of intimacy. Interesting. The face is frozen in a contorted smile. His fingers are clenched as if he's clutching to life even now. Worn, soaked boots, size 8. Something smells fishy here, and it's not brine.
Hey. A bright red lip rouge mark. Light tobacco with a hint of citrus. Well, that's a good point, no. Está mirando la gente, a ver si veía algo. Por la suerte. to help me nothing has come to my mind sir I'm sorry hobbies are a good way to take the mind off all the murders Vale, pues nada, vamos a ir a, a la comisaría, hubo quejas. La policía recibió una queja sobre el cuerpo. A ver si encontramos algo. Any progress with the case, Mr. Holmes? Did you hear Basilio Capello is in jail? A dead body was found in his showroom. Estado Basilio Copello, el propietario de los famosos compañeros de seguridad doméstica Harvey Copello. Su situación es bastante peculiar. Ha hallado muerto a su nombre llamado Nicolo de Tino. Tiene un miembro tan fuerte desde el rendimiento de los hijos. Que si no se entiende, las pruebas están en su contra. Está detenido en los calabozos de la comisaría. Let's pretend to be cops, eh? We can just stand around and look confused. Vale, un nuevo caso. ¿A dónde era? ¿Qué playa era? Que lo hago. Era el... 
La playa cerca del cementerio. A ver, otro barrilero solo. para en el cementerio hay que darte el cementerio si la si la no bravos bro can you satisfy my curiosity go find your answer somewhere else yeah can you satisfy my curiosity a solid question sir but i don't have the answer this isn't working you might need a different ask you something nothing I can tell you sir but others might know more any progress with the case mr. Holmes está cerca de Inés. Por el cerca, cerca.
quiero sigue buscar. to find the oldest grave on the island but this time I'll stick it out to the end I never had the patience to find the oldest grave on the island but this time I'll stick it out to the end Excuse me, just one question. I have a question too. Who looks an idiot in his fancy clothes? It's you. Dos por May I ask for your assistance? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, oof bird?
light tobacco with a hint of citrus. A bright red lip rouge mark. Just get on with it. The water is shallow and the slope is smooth. One would have to be dead drunk to drown here. Oh, there are the aliens are going to put it on the Take the mind of all the one would have to be murdered dead drunk to drown here. Siren's song. Hmm. The rumors weren't so absurd after all. There's still some left, just enough for a tipple.
Hostia, no sabía yo esto. Este te cambia de más de positivo a negativo. No sabía yo esto. Vale. Me lo he imaginado, eh, digo, joder, es que no, no, no había ninguna otra manera, tío. Cyanide, it turns out he was poisoned. Didn't the copy say that fellow drank himself to death? He wasn't wrong. What now? I've still got my report to write to make it quick. I hate to break it to you, officer, but it wasn't an accident. Care to elaborate, smartly boots? The bottle of wine I found near the victim had been poisoned with cyanide. He was dead before he hit the water. Whoa, that's a twist. Any leads on the poisoner? Nothing to put my finger on, but I might need to inspect the other drowned sailor. Well, of course, I won't stop you. It's not my case anyway. We had a complaint about a body in a fountain. Can't have bodies laying about in fountains, can we? It was somewhere in Scaladio, as far as I know. You think they're connected? That is what I intend to find out. Thank you. Progress with the case, Mr. Holmes. May I ask you something? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Harbour Basketball.
Ari. Ari. Venga. Estamos muy cerca. No está el criminal. Bueno, eh, voy a jugar esto. This wine again, don't sailors prefer spirits? Drained to the last drop. Ugh, the litter bin is right there. The victim won't be needing his cap anymore. I might as well take it. A cotton shawl, could it be our sirens? Esta es la última audiencia, porque lo digo en serio, jefe de policía, todo lo vale. Last week's newspaper, the front page reads, Sky is the limit, Governor funds Arsenal's second airship. Broken bottle with no label. Light tobacco with a hint of citrus. Hmm, a bright red lip rouge mark. Rounding in a two feet deep fountain. I've seen some things, but this really takes the biscuit. Drowning in a two feet deep fountain. I've seen some things, but this really takes the biscuit. A worn leather tobacco pouch, salt stained from a long time at sea. Vale, hay que recrear la escena.
Ich habe schon mit Schuss. Ja, estás casi ya. No me convence mucho, eh. This sailor is another victim of the same woman. She poisoned him and pushed him into the fountain to make it look like an accident. Sherlock, the spot where he fell, I, I saw something. Maybe you should take a look. Blimey, the great detective is baffled by a piece of cutlery. A water-soaked matchbox from the Drinking Dutchman must be a local pub. Venetian copper soldi, authentic but worthless. Vale, tenemos todas las pistas. Sur de Silverton, cerca de Victoria del Puente Victoria. Silverton, Victoria. Company boy, I This familiar to you? Come back without your uniform, and we might have a talk. Not in the mood for shit yet. <laughs> Does this poster truly claim that Cordona has a ghost? Unholy howls keeping you inside at night? Luigi can help. All ghosts gone. Meet on Southern Pier of the Silverton Port. Donations gratefully accepted. This town loves the supernatural, but all I see is another scam to disprove. The world shrivels under a skeptic's eye. And that's why you're so sullen, Sherry. You leave no room for...
are in the magical. I delight in making the unknown known. Let us begin by asking I'm someone about the up Pilsner to and then pay this days. Luigi a visit at the port. I haven't seen my family in ages. I want to go home. May I ask you something? I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, sorry. I know nothing about it. But I can please you in another way. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Do you know anything about this? Oh, sorry. I know nothing about it. But I can please you in another way. Good. Don't want to end up like that guy who drowned in the fountain after having one too many. Aye, I know the fella. Shame, damn shame. But let me tell you, it wasn't the drink that got him. It was a curse. Let me guess. It had something to do with the siren? No way, mate. That's just a daft superstition. I'm talking about a real curse here. He was from HMS Aculus. Some British schooner, nothing special. Except one of them Jack Tars shot an albatross. Everyone knows it's bad luck. Everyone. The dimwit brought the curse upon his old crew. Three are dead already. Wait, I've heard of only two such accidents. Are you saying that another man drowned? Drowned or not, they've all kicked the bucket. Just this morning, another member of the crew was found dead. It's a curse, I'm telling you. Now yeah, we're obliged to find out if it's really a curse. Let's go and take it a look at it. It indeed be the curse, but how do you know all that? Why, he told me the whole story himself. The victim told you? His crewmate. The one who killed an albatross, Harry Thorne. He's renting a room upstairs. Every day, he gets completely rat-arsed, raving on and on about the bird around his neck. He's sleeping it off right now. But when the blight wakes up, it'll be the same thing all over again. Do you have a free room? Certainly do. Dirt cheap. Here's the key. Go pick anyone you like. <laughs> Escalario, we Gloria. Vamos a investigar. Tenemos una habitación aquí. Que no 
lo más importante. Gratis. Vamos a hacer caso a John, que nos suele... Escalar Aquí, que no lo veo. Que no suele recomendar bien. Y si voy de ser los holes. Well, if it ain't Mr. Smarty Boots, guess what? You were right about the poisoning. <laughs> This time, I'm ahead of the game. We've got another homicide on our hands. Same method, same everything. See for yourself. <laughs> After all this, I assume we're going to meet a werewolf next. You got said there. He suffered a head wound. There's caked blood in his hair underneath all the mud. Sharp, bloody rock stuck deep in the mud. The officer must have rolled the body over. An empty bottle of rum. There'll be no sirens. Looks like he slipped. This was clearly an accident. What did I tell you? We've a killer on the loose. I knew it. That may be true, but this here is very clearly an accident. The victim slipped and hit his head on a rock. I would have thought it obvious. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I thought I had all this sewn up. But you just had to come along and make me look like an idiot. I hope you're happy now, genius. Just move along. So it was a curse after all. A curse of clumsiness. I hope it's not contagious. Vale, tengo que vestir para lo posible. Take 
Take care, lad. Oh, it smells of stale cigarettes and damp bed sheets. Not exactly the best place to stay in town. Oh, the smell alone makes me feel groggy. He's really gone on a binge. The same as we saw earlier. She's pretty free with her kisses. Perhaps too much for her own good. photo of the cursed crew. Here's Thorn, and right next to him, our first drowning victim. Crew of HMS Achilles, Cordona, 1879. <laughs> now we walk into a trap, guns blazing. The game is afoot, Sherry boy. Well said. I think I'll borrow that line from you, old chum. Oof, he's really gone on a binge. He's out cold. No use trying to wake him. Jardín de las Delicias. ¿Será el mismo de otro? ¿Cómo se llamaba? Jardín de la Delicia. ¿Y dónde es eso, tío? No, yo creo que tengo que preguntar a alguien a ver, dónde, a ver cuál es el jardín ese de las delicias. Voy a preguntar aquí al chef. Take care, lad. Excuse me, just one question. Ah, I know this, yeah, let me help you. Vale. Me ha dicho cuál es el jardín de las delicias, ¿no? 
anything about this? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. May I ask for your assistance? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Oh, I am delicious. Al sur de Grain, Silverton. Sur de Grain, Silverton. asesinato de lado. La... Es misión secundaria, eh. O sea, no es misión principal. Misión secundaria, pero hostia. Cuesta... No como una principal, pero casi. Come on over, lovey. Don't be shy. I can see you're off for some fun. Madame Pauline will see you right. Girls, boys, a bit of both. Whatever tickles your pickle, darling. I don't see what you're getting at. What's that got to do with me? I'm looking for the girl who wrote this letter. Perhaps you know who she might be? Let me see. No, I don't know, Lovey. I have a Lizzie here, but I doubt she can even spell her own name. And what's all this nonsense about a special client? This is a business we're running here, not a charity. What's that got to do with me? I don't see what you're getting at. Cannot help you with this, Lovey. Cannot help you with this, Lovey. What's that got to do with me? I don't see what you're getting at. I'm looking for a specific girl. This is her shawl. Do you have any idea where she might be? Ah, I know who you mean. It's the goody two shoes down the street. She's not one of mine, though. She's not even a working girl, if I say so myself. Trust me, lovey. We'll give you a much better time. I don't doubt it, ma'am, but I have to see her first. Thanks for your help. La calle abajo. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I think we should interrogate some of them. Well, hell, all of them. Oh. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, honey. I've heard nothing. Oh, good woman, honey. Sorry, you're not my type. I get a social tipo. Sorry, you're not my type.
Sorry, you're not my type. Sorry, you're not my type. Sorry, you're not my type. Or uh, you have it. But the severity of the world, the severity of the Sorry, you're not my type. Uh, plan marinero, no? Nice affordable clothes. Step right up. Let's pick something that suits you. Mira, eh, con barba, ¿no? Ah, para, joder, qué gilipollas soy. Harry, Harry, ¿qué eres? Este, ¿no? Eh, sí, este, con barba, pelo limpio, o sea, así. O sea, con traje de marinero y barba. Vale, vale. Joder, qué tonto soy, en vez de. Hostia, comprar. Esto, sin gorro. Así guapete o me, me pongo normal. O así, plan. Curtido. traje de marinero Sorry, you're not my type. 
so long but you haven't changed a bit I don't suppose you remember me do you you must be Eloise yes I got your letter wonderful no point beating around the bush then I've missed you love I wonder if you still have your prowess why don't we go to my place for some wine and something extra How could I refuse such an offer from a pretty girl like you? Let's go right now. Wonderful. Follow me. It's not far from here. Here we are. Make yourself comfortable, love. There's wine on the table. You should have some. Loosen you up. Bring out your naughty side. What will you drink with me? Uh, absolutely. I'll join you in a minute. I just need to powder my nose. Then I'll be waiting for you, pet. Did you just call her pet? Seriously, <laughs> boy, you are truly hopeless, Sherlock. Siren's song. She is consistent, I'll give her that. The bottle was open and the cork replaced. It's a, a fresh lick of paint. Some warm touches, and anyone could call this place a home. Hey, if you want to keep this stupid act up, you better pour out the wine and quick. Hurry up, she'll be out any second. HMS Achilles, Friday, 5 p.m. She prepared for their arrival. The beloved child of a rich family. This lip rouge looks good on her. Just saying. She's smoking citrus flavored cigarettes the dots connect. White powder with a bitter almond like odor. These are no smelling salts. It's cyanide. Oh, here she comes. Sorry for making you wait, sweetie. I hope the wine has kept you good company. Oh, yes. I needed to wet my whistle real bad. But the bottle is full. You didn't even take a sip. Come on, drink it. I insist. 
I have to decline. I believe the contents may be detrimental to my health. Wait, wh wait, what's happening? It's time I drop my act. This beard is false. I'm not Harry Thorne. Oh, I see. You're from the police then, yes? Here to question me? There's no need. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I know that you killed Thorne's crewmates, and I know why. Well, Mr. Holmes, you can save your breath. I won't deny a thing. But please, stop tormenting me with this farce. Do what you must. I'm afraid I must turn you into the police, miss. The police, you say? The police who didn't lift a finger to bring my abusers to justice? How are they any better than those animals? No, I won't give you the satisfaction! That's a pity, but thanks. We'll send the coroner. Any progress with the case, Mr. Holmes? Vale, hemos hecho... ¿Cuánto de sirena? Hemos acabado Musa de Allende y hemos hecho eh, Canto de sirena, que era uno secundario. Era una misión secundaria. Bueno, una, era un caso. Exactamente. Casos. Vale, pues nada. Bueno, y media lo vamos a dejar aquí. Espero que os haya gustado. Espero que os haya entretenido un ratico. Y mañana continuamos con la historia. Venga, chao.